How about this one? It's time for tea. In the end, R4 destroyed the capsule. Why was R4 there in the first place? Wasn't it just to destroy the capsule? But she sounded like she didn't know that we were after it. But it was all for nothing. There isn't anything I want here. You goddesses are a disappointment. There is no way you will defeat me. However, I must take care of any loose ends. You're right. What was R4 looking for, then? I might have an idea about that. Grey Sister, is it okay for you to be up? Yes. I rested and I'm feeling much better. How is Maho? Oh, uh, Maho is... I'm right here. Is it okay if we join you? Maho! Henri! Maho! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I ran into Henri, so I thought that we should go together. I see. Thank goodness. I do think it's better that Maho hears about this too. R4 is looking for a way to disable the limiter on the IS crystal. The limiter? Yes. The IS crystal continues to absorb share energy from people, but the limiter restricts how much absorption is possible. The IS crystal was originally developed to solve the serious lack of share energy on the PC continent. Share energy is derived from the faith of the people, and it has historically flowed one way, from the citizens to the goddesses. The R phone allowed it to become bi-directional in order to increase efficiency. Does that make sense? Kind of. I think I get the idea. I don't understand how it could go both ways between the goddesses and citizens. I think I get it. Instead of waiting around, goddesses can try to appeal to their people. Is that what you mean? Like, hi, I'm the goddess. I did this today. Isn't that great? Now give me some pudding. <laughs> you know, something like that. <laughs> yes, something like that. Uh, how did Neptune beat me to it? So the reason R4 started to give away our phones was to gather more shares. Yes. And she tried to increase the rate at which she was accruing share energy with sheer volume, the R phones. But it didn't work? Correct. The R phones had limiters placed on them for the citizen's safety. Her efforts were futile because the phones were capped. The share energy gathered by the IS crystal is sent to a tower on the PC continent and is supplied to wherever it is needed. However, if the link to the tower were to be severed, it would create a risk of the energy flowing back. In this scenario, the limiter would activate, restricting the amount of share energy being absorbed. In 
other words, because the IS crystal has a limiter, it can't hold that many shares? Correct. And R4 herself is unable to remove the limiter. In my original timeline, this limiter failed, and R4 obtained unimaginable power. That's why I came to the past. I'm here to activate the limiter. It's desperate, but it had to be done. So, how does one sever the link to the tower? Well, for example, if the tower intended to receive share energy from the IS crystal is destroyed... The tower... destroyed? Yeah. I had to destroy the tower to activate the limiter, at the expense of those inside. Your parents. I had no choice. Oh, no. I'm not here seeking forgiveness. The blood on my hands is the burden I have to carry for creating the IS crystal. <laughs> Omri! I'm... Perhaps you should rest a bit. You don't want to worsen your wounds. Thank you.
Thank you for coming. Well, I wanted to talk too. I can't just ignore this. What do you want from me? There's only one thing that I want, and it has to do with the IS Crystal Limiter. You're the only one who knows about that, right? Yeah, but this has to do with you, too. If there was a guaranteed way to protect this world and all of your friends in it, you would see it through, right, Maho? Of course! I doubt you had to ask that. We're the same person. And what if, to do that, we have to vanish from this world forever? Huh? What do you mean? There is only one way to remove the limiter on the IS crystal. Our biometrics. Biometrics? Yes. As long as we're gone, there's hope for Nepgear in this timeline. Of course, I'm not just going to vanish. I'll leave behind an improved sealing device. Even if I cannot complete it until I disintegrate, leaving behind the blueprint should be enough for Nepgear to complete it. Hmm. We're the same person from different timelines. If we interact, the time paradox occurs. We fuse or we disintegrate. You remember, don't you? When we first interacted? Interacted? It was through the IS crystal at Planet Tower and at the hill on Louis. It was only for a moment, but we directly made contact. There was a force that pushed us to either disintegrate or fuse as one. Do you recall the headache you had? The hell at Louis. So that thing was because of you two? I just happened to be caught up in your time paradox? Huh? Get away from her, Grey Sister! Uni? Kiersey? I'm sorry, Grey Sister. Something's been bothering me. Yeah, Maho. Some things aren't lining up here. Uni? Kiersey? What's gotten into you? We were trying to figure out if you're the real Maho or not. What? Maho, do you remember the first time you defeated the Trendfluencer? I'll take it for safekeeping. I'll be sure to let Histoire know. Okay. Go ahead, Maho. We checked with Histoire about the disc fragment Ram and I found. She said she never received that report. Oh, right. That happened. But even I can be forgetful sometimes. While I was holed up in my room in Last Station, you were attacked by monsters. It was so bad you were bedridden. Yet somehow, you continued working alongside Nepgear and the others. I took some medicine and I got better. Here, I can prove it on Maji. 
We talked to the doctor that treated you, and your medical record said you were in bed that whole time. You never left. Mm. Maho. Why do you think Higurashi suspected you? Because she saw me talking to someone about the R-Phone manufacturing, right? Yeah. She said that I was the traitor because she saw that conversation at the lab. But I suppose the footage from the lab is what ultimately led her to that conclusion. Uh, oh, are you actually suspecting me? That's right, you faker! What? There are two Mahos? Yes. Our force spy isn't just Henri, it's the fake Maho, too! Considering the real Maho was nearby, you sure got overconfident. When did you realize it? Something fell off. So a few of us started talking about it. I need to research things first. Hmm? A message. Who is it from? It's from Maho. It's a direct message. Huh? being suspected as a spy, so I thought it would be better if I let everyone believe that. I talked about what I did back then, or how I was during this time. I asked my friends who were with me, and we talked about it a lot. I might have amnesia, but it's not like I have short-term memory loss. Some stuff just wasn't making sense to me. That's when I thought that there might have been someone posing as me, snooping around. So who are you? Are four in disguise? <sighs> huh. You found me out? So you are a fake? I just wish you didn't talk about how to remove the limiter. You satisfied, R4? I didn't think there would be a limiter. No wonder the IS crystal couldn't be altered. R4? I thought friends tell each other everything. We are partners, are we not? This was just a mutually beneficial arrangement. Don't pretend we're friends. The real R4? Most likely. I can feel the IS crystal. So what about Maho? You called me a fake earlier, right? I'm not a fake. Grace sister would know. We're just a couple of replacements for our older sister. Replacements? Are you from another timeline? I haven't lost my memories, and I remember everything from back when I grew up on the PC continent. Looking at it from my point of view, well, who the hell are you? Uh, I'm... I've got what I needed. It's time for me to leave. 
who would have thought that a living person would be the key? Thanks for sharing that with me, Grey Sister. Wait! Grey Sister! I can't move! Don't push yourself too hard. Rom, Ram, go get help! If that's the Maho of this timeline, 